Hey everybody, this is Mighty Z of Capital Chaos TV and we're hanging out here with uh, Dara at the park side. How's it going, Dara? Oh, it's going really good. It's going very good, actually. It's great to be playing out again and all it's, that. It's been a while, eh? Yeah, the last time we played a show was actually at the park side. It was in November, but we had to like get a new drummer to play out again and so we have a, a handful of shows up north and one show in the Midwest that we're going to do at the end of the month nice. or next month, so nice. yeah. Who is this new drummer? Um, his name is Mike, and um, he had to go back home early from the show. Mike, I'm not really sure how to pronounce his last name. It's Joe Chimson, but he's really awesome. I mean, he fucking kills it. And he's he also plays in a, um, a death metal band called Apocryphon. Oh, so he's okay, really right. he's he's really good. So was it a long process trying to find a drummer, or did you find one right away? Um, actually, it was funny because uh, we had jammed with Mike before, like previous year, but. Um, for some reason, things didn't work out, but it seems like things, you know, have kind of come together really well this year with him. So it's good to have him on board. He's going to be doing a bunch of shows with us, and you know, things are things are just kind of unfolding as far as our future, as far as you know, what we're going to do as far as live playing out live, you know. But but yeah, this was a really like um, great night for us, you know. It was fun. <laughs> Yeah, he's great. Quite quite the pounder. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And he he picked up on the material really really quickly. And I think you know, as far as drumming goes, it's you know not like the easiest material to play. So, right. yeah, yeah, right, right, right. yeah. Now, um, your uh, your name Serpent Crown. Does that come from the uh, Marvel comics? Is that where yeah, that comes from? Yeah, that was kind of the original inspiration. So yeah, a <laughs> former bandmate. But the thing is, I really like snakes and serpents right. a lot or not even specifically snakes and serpents I'm just really kind of attracted to that um, image and I've kind of be even before I was playing guitar I was doing a lot of artwork and whatnot so it's nice to have the name serpent in my band because I actually like drawing snakes a lot and so I, I do the artwork for serpent crown as well so kind of having to do artwork for serpent crown I've gotten really good at drawing snakes so <laughs> I'm assuming that you uh, drew the cover then right yeah 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 it's uh, it's very dark. Yeah. Mo moody. Yeah, I think, but I think that's you know reflective of the music, you know, which I think you know our music is dark, but still there's kind of a fun, you know, rock out aspect to it, you know. And uh, horror, it's horror, pain, gore, death productions that put it yeah, out. Yeah, right? yeah, totally, yeah. How did you hook up with them? Um, I guess I had been like uh, on their Facebook page and stuff, and I d decided to send them. Uh, just our, our, our uh, promo pack and Mike was totally interested in it and you know it seemed like a good opportunity and and it seems like you know he's he's done a good job of getting the word out as far as um, you know the album and whatnot so this is your first full length you have a, uh, a demo prior to this right yeah we did do a demo and I mean yeah I guess I guess the release that we have right now it's not it's not really a full length, but you know, it's it's a six songs, um, just about thirty minutes. So it's about the it's about the length of Rain and Blood by Slayer, so it could be a, a yeah, full length I guess, album. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> now uh, you worked with uh, Dan. Is it Dan Rathbun and yeah, Kurt Schlegel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, those are both. Uh, let's see. Um, Lucky Cat is actually um, that was uh, the guy who um, he he didn't uh, mix mix the tracks, but he you know recorded recorded us um, and then Dan Rathbun mixed us and uh, Lucky Cat Studios where Kurt works is just actually a few blocks from the park okay. side. So and very uh, very uh, San Franciscan. The whole thing, pretty much, right? Yeah. Well, Dan, Dan, his studio is out in Oakland, so okay. it's like, yeah, yeah. And he's he's had a long history of recording people. I mean, both of those guys have worked with some, I guess, significant people. Like uh, Kurtz was the live sound guy for the Melvins, oh, right. and um, Saviors recorded in the same recording studio. Um, and I guess Kirk's mixed uh, Secret Chiefs and Down Rath Bunny's recorded a uh, tragedy and he's in, he's in a cool band too. Um, Sleep to Time Gorilla Museum. They're heavy but kind of artsy. So probably as far as we need to go with name dropping. Don't yeah. You think? <laughs> yeah. 
Cool. Uh, you uh, use uh, Les Paul. Is that yeah. the only uh, only guitar you ever use? Um. Well, I have I have an SG at home, a Gibson guitar. Um, the Les Paul I've been using live. I'd I'd like to get an Explorer. Just well, it looks cooler. But um, I it's it's hard to tell how well the sound would compare um, as opposed to my uh, Les Paul. But um, I, I've spent a lot of time and thought into really configuring the sound for my setup. Um, like the, the reason why I play in a Les Paul, which I mean certain, it's, it's not every metal band will have a Les Paul. It's not necessarily the most metal looking guitar and whatnot. But the reason why I play Les Paul for Serpent Crown is a lot of it has to do tone issues and also being a three piece band because it has a very thick sound. And I think it conveys a real sense of, or a real sound of heaviness. And I have to fill in a lot of space because I'm the only guitar player. So that that Les Paul really has that great tone, and it's it's kind of hard to really find guitars that have that that kind of tone that will fill in a lot of space sonically. And so that's why I play it. It has it has good action. So yeah, it's it's kind of heavy. I'm a small person, but the actual Les Paul I have compared to other as Les Pauls is physically not so heavy but I love it I love playing it it's a great guitar so yeah, it looks great on you oh thank you <laughs> what about amps what are you using amp wise um, I have a Saldano Avenger and I, I love that amplifier a lot I spent a really long time um, trying to figure out what amp I wanted to use and again you know there's the entire tone thing sure. and also relating to like being in a three-piece band wanting to fill up a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Sonic, sonic space, you know, uh, with tone and what, that, what not. Right. And the kind of concept with Serpent Crown is like, uh, I guess we've been described as like sludge slash thrash metal. So I mean, there are you know faster parts and more intricate parts, but also there's this like real sense of like heaviness and sound, sonic heaviness. And the Avenger really conveys that a lot. It's like a Marshall, but it's even more gain, more heaviness. And I remember as I was like deciding, I was like. Do I want this app or should I get like a Mesa? I remember going to Guitar Center, they were first starting to have like Saldano, Saldano Avengers on sale. Okay. And I played that kind of back to back with a um, Mesa Stiletto. And I feel like Mesas are really good for a more precise tone, but just the heaviness and the dirtiness of the Saldano is what sold me. And I mean, I feel, you know, there are times where I'm like, it'd be nice to have a more clean sound when you do play. Uh, you know, more intricate stuff. But at the same time, I think as far as the general concept of the band, the general sound we want, it's just thick and heavy and dirty. And yeah, we like to play some parts that are more fast and intricate. And maybe certain aspects of sound are compromised because of the high gain, but ultimately we want a real heavy, punishing sound. So that's, you know, where the, the sound of the app really helps convey that. It's a real good tool to have. So. And I think you've uh, I think you uh, attained that with the uh, with the equipment that you have. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of thought put into that. You know, I, I right before I bought that, I was definitely really, really, you know, thinking what what do I need as far as honing my sound because that's very important. You know, so. Not just by chance. No, definitely not. Sure. Not. So after this, you got you got some dates uh, lined up for. Uh, Oregon and uh, Washington. Yeah, and yeah. that's you're just uh, taking it a little by a little, eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, but yeah, I'm looking forward to going back on the road and you know making more plans for the future as far as playing out. And I mean, I love playing out live. My favorite things as far as you know being in a band is the creative process, writing songs, and I love live performance or practicing. I'm not, I don't, I guess I don't enjoy recording as much because. I feel, you know, oh, I'm on the spot, I have to do this perfectly, but I love being able to f perform in front of people. I love being on stage. That's, yeah, it's one of my favorite things about playing in a band. 